Hi, I'm Rachel Brown, and you're watching Front Row Live Entertainment. Hey guys, Rob here at Front Row Live Entertainment. I'm hanging out in Hollywood with Rachel Brown from New York City. How are you? I am good, thank you. <laughs> uh, how's, your, how's your stay been so far here in L.A.? It's been great. I love L.A. I love visiting. I love New York, but it always makes me excited to get to come out here. So, so what, have you been up, what have you been up to here in L.A. actually? Uh, well, I had a couple days off, so I'm caught up with people, and then I'm out here doing stuff like this. Uh, I have a showcase to do and a showcase to attend and a little bopping around here and there. <laughs> Now your, your latest release is your debut EP, uh, Building Castles. Tell us a little bit about that, out, uh, that EP and the influence behind it. Yeah, um, I actually did some of it out here. Um, the song I played, Bumblebee, I recorded out here. Uh, and it was really just, I wanted to put a bunch of songs together that I felt kind of showed the different sides of what I do as a musician. Um, and I think I conveyed that, I hope. <laughs> now what, what was it recording that, uh, that EP? I mean. You're, you, we were talking about earlier your your bandmates. It's yeah. all different, you know, backgrounds. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, we sort of had to figure out how to translate the live show, which is a lot of different West African instruments and just a lot going on. Um, and a lot of it is also very visual because there's stuff people haven't ever seen before. Yeah. Um, and trying to find a way to make that something you could listen to on a record. Um, so that was cool. It was exciting. A lot of the stuff I did uh, was in New York with this guy Scott Jacoby who totally understood what I was trying to do um, and we would just brainstorm ways to make it sound right um, so yeah, it was fun it was cool to kind of work that out nice and Bumblebee is obviously the first single off there yeah. um, if we took Bumblebee out of there yeah. what would what would be another good song to put out to promote like if you were gonna go promote your EP at the moment yeah. don't promote Bumblebee what other song would you tell everybody you have to listen to I know you'll like it um, ooh it's you know what I'll give you an answer because I know it's awful to be like, oh, <laughs> any of them. Um, there's a song on there uh, called Four Leaf Clovers, which is one of my favorites. But the thing about it is that sort of different genres are kind of touched on on it. So yeah. I think it just totally depends on your mood. Like there'll be, there's a more folksier one, there's a more hip hop one, there's a more catchy one, you know. So I think, you know, everybody has a different favorite I've found when yeah. I talk to people. But Four Leaf Clovers and Rockstar is another one on there that people tend to gravitate towards. <laughs> And Rockstar, tell us a little bit about Rockstar. That was another LA song. Actually, that was my first co-write. I'd never written with anybody before. Um, and I worked on it with this guy, Bill Leffler, who produced Bumblebee. Um, so he uh, worked on the music, and then I would run and like lock myself in the bathroom and work on the lyrics, because my whole process is like mumbling and sounding yeah. crazy, and I can't <laughs> do that in front of anybody. Um, so that was fun. It was cool to do that uh, and see what it's like to start working with somebody else. So that was a unique um, experience on the record. Now, do you see yourself doing some more co-writes? Yeah, it's fun. I just I was out here a couple months ago, and I did some, and it was the first time I worked with a lyricist, um, which is cool, because it's almost like things happen. Like, if you're stuck in a rut, things can happen a lot quicker, because yeah. <laughs> you've got like a whole other brain that'll that's be true. like, how about you try this, instead of you being like, why am I doing this? Um, so it's cool. It's different. It, it's you know, it's a, just a different way of working, and I like it. Now, you were mentioning you, you were out here doing showcases, but when can we actually see you come out here to LA and perform? Oh, or wow. the West Coast in general? I, soon, I hope. I really want to. So, like, tell people that you want me to come out here. <laughs> I guess that will bring me out here um, soon, because I, I think, I think it would be really fun to do a show out here. Um, I've been told that my music might uh, be well received on the West oh, Coast, because it, <laughs> it has a lot of sunshine to it. But um, yeah, I would, I would love to, so hopefully soon. Yeah, how do you write sunshine when you're from New York? <laughs> Listen, well, but, okay. But except right now, it feels like we're in New York, so we're freezing here. We got rained on. I know, so fall back, LA. You brought New York to us. I brought New York to us. Um, you do, I mean, I, half my songs are like the super cheery ones. I was in a really bad mood, so it's a way of like sort of either making yourself feel better or escaping or whatever it is. So I find the more bummed out I am, the more I can talk about oh, man. stars. That's, I mean, that's good music-wise, but then we don't want to see you bummed out. I know, I know. We have to find a different way to make this happen. I know, I know. Maybe if I come out here and write more, it'll... Hey, you're always welcome in L.A. <laughs> Thank you. Next time, bring the snow, not the rain. Oh, gosh, yeah, I know. In, like, ten minutes, we're going to be, like, covered in snow. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> now, now, as a musician, what are your goals for 2013? Um, keep playing L.A. Playing L.A. is definitely on there. So, sort of, I've done a lot of Northeast and Midwest and South, so I want to keep pushing um, further west and hopefully tour um, with somebody or myself. 
uh, put out more music. The EP came out in September, so I'm back into writing and uh, trying to figure out what I want to do next and just keep on keeping on.